All right, this is my first attempt at a uh, Serum tutorial. I'm still a beginner at this shit, but uh, this is my attempt at making a uh, like blank face type uh, synth bass. Uh, so let me show you what it sounds like real quick, and then I'll show you what I did to make it. Okay, so um, pull up Serum, <clears throat> and I have two LFOs here, LFO1 and LFO2. Um, LFO1 I've got set to trigger, BPM, ANC, and TRIP right here are uh, all checked. And you can uh, mess with the timing here on the rate um, to whatever your preference is. I switched it up each pattern. Um, I had it you know, go from slower to faster and whatnot and just have them alternate. <clears throat> but I picked here uh, Evil Sweep, which is under digital. And then uh, Oscillator B. I went ahead and did uh, 4088, which is under analog. It's the first one. Um, and then uh, down here I put my wave table position uh, pretty low it's right around 18% right here um, the levels all the way down and then I selected FM from B or so we're FMing here um, and the uh, position is 44% um, LFO1 is on the wave table position and level on this first oscillator here. I have seven voices on the unison. Uh, turn the detune down to about 0.10. Uh, the blend is up 59. And uh, so the LFO one is brought up to about the two o'clock position. Um, and then wavetable is just up um, about the, I don't know, if you can see right there. <clears throat> Yeah, so you can see I've got my LFO one on all the ones that are highlighted blue to give you an idea. Uh, subs enabled, I probably should have hit direct out. So we'll do that. My level is almost all the way down. I had it up just a little bit. And then uh, the LFO is going all the way up on that. So it, um, when the sub kicks in, it just alternates up and down, up and down. Uh, so evil sweep, 4088, and then on my filter, um, I've got it on phase 24 plus under flanges and then um, yeah so LFO one's also on wavetable position on this one and that one's about 81 percent I've got it on sync I believe that's no window yeah no window sync okay and that one's just barely up just a little bit there uh, let's see 1.06 percent cut off we got A and B selected here, and then this little keyboard dealio checks every time it hits a note. Um, it's not dragging on the last one, I guess. I don't know uh, exactly if I'm correct on how to describe that. But cut off here is at uh, 208 hertz. Resonance is up 56%. Mixes all the way up. Drives up pretty high. I guess you can, you know, adjust that to your preference or whatnot. And then, uh, so on LFO2, this one, the only thing I have this one dropped on is LFO, uh, the LFO is on this cutoff right here. And, um, yeah, it's about the, like, one-ish position, one o'clock position. Um, and so this one, I don't have it on trigger. That one's just off. I just have this one on BPM and, and Arch, and I have this one at a slower rate than LFO1. So this one right now, my, this right here is, uh, um, an eighth of triplets, I guess, and this one's just a half. So there's that, and then sounds like crap on higher notes, but when you go to you know like a lower tone, obviously it sounds much better. So let me go to my piano roll and show you. I've got it down to about G two. You can go lower if you want. So you can tell that I've got a little bit of effects on it also. Let me go over to the effects tab and show you. I've got uh, hyperdimension on. I've only turned the mix up just a little bit below um, medium here. I didn't really adjust anything else here. Just left it the way it was. Turned on my distortion, put the diode one. The drive is almost all the way down. The mix is just under halfway as well. Um, I've got chorus, which is really low also. 
Um, you just want to match up, I guess, some of these settings here. I believe we're stock. I didn't really do a whole lot, um, except for with delay. I got this here on BPM mode. I know that's probably better to put it on link, but I literally just made this on the fly, uh, attempting to make a sound that I heard from uh, one of the Savage Society crew members, Blank Face, uh, a real popular type synth. And I've got a little bit of reverb on it too, um, on a hall, and the size is down about 14%, and then mix there. So, yeah, that's how that sounds. Let me go ahead and play it again. <laughs> Probably pretty good to go with some, uh, you know, like a rhythm type beat or whatnot. Some dubstep shit. Uh, let me give you a little bit of an idea of what it sounds like with some drums, I guess. <laughs> So yeah, I just threw it in with a couple of samples that I got, uh, some yo yo sounds and some vocal shots and stuff like that that I got from uh, Space Ghost, uh, his Rhythm Dreams remix. So I just threw them in there just to kind of use as like a filler in between each synth or whatnot. So yeah, there's not really a whole lot going on here, just a little short clip of what I did to um, create that synth sound for anyone who's attempting to try to make that sound. I don't really see any tutorials for that particular type of synth bass on YouTube, so uh, here it is. So yeah, thank you guys.